If you've been searching the galaxy for the most comfortable theater seats, look no further than Valencia's ultimate luxury line of seating. These Tuscany XLs got a huge upgrade over the standard seats, and in this video, I'm going to be going over all of those upgrades. Be sure to stay tuned to see how you can win a 33-foot fiber optic HDMI cable from Rui Pro worth $160. Hey guys, welcome to Life of Bliss. My name is Kyle, and today I'll be going over the new Valencia Ultimate Luxury Edition seats that they have. These are the Tuscany XL versions, and I'll also be comparing these to the standard Tuscany XL and Oslo XL seats that I've had the past few years. Now, I wanted to talk about the packaging a little bit. Uh, not a lot of people touch on the packaging. Um, I've had eight of these delivered over the years, and not a single one has come damaged, scratched, anything like that. The boxes have come in great condition. They're big, sturdy boxes. Uh, I, I kind of wanted to go over how to open those. Um, I've used a sword in the past, which didn't even touch them. I wanted to up the ante a little bit and show you guys some of the methods that I used to get these open. So as you can see, we have one of the Tuscany Ultimate Luxury Edition seats here from Valencia. Got a few different ways to open it. Um, the traditional razor blade just does not cut everything like it should. It's still sealed up. Um, so we have a few different options here I thought I would try. And everything is insured through the carrier or the shipper here. I was assured of that. So any damage that does happen, they'll be able to cover. So. I'm not liable for trying to open the package. Um, but first thing here, we have a hatchet. Um, maybe not everyone's first choice because you might end up hitting something uh, important on the inside, but I mean, you can always you know, try to go at the tape with one of these or give it a good whack. It might have hit something in there. Um, give it a good whack and just go at it like that. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so if that's not your style, you can always grab an angle grinder. I found that this was actually a decent way to get into it. It takes a little bit of work, um, but you can eventually get in. The tape, I don't know what sort of tape they're using, some sort of carbon fiber reinforced tape, but... Yeah, it's still... It takes a little bit of work. Um, what else do we have around here? The box is on fire. So the acetylene torch was not the best idea, um, but that's why I'm here. I'm putting in the work. I'm doing the science so you guys don't have to. Let's see if there's another way that we can't get this box open. All right, once you've figured out your preferred method of getting these boxes open and you've got all of the contents removed, uh, it's time to put your seats together. I'll go over this pretty quickly. It's very simple, and then we'll get into the differences between these and the standard Tuscany XL seats. So like I said, the setup is pretty quick and easy. The backs of the chairs will just slide onto the base with two brackets on either side. Once in the tracks, you can just give them a good push and they click into place. Now these can always be removed by pushing the tab on each side of the bracket with a flathead screwdriver and then pulling the seat back upwards. Next there are two electrical plugs to connect between the seat back and the base. Each of these are labeled and easy to connect and lock into place. The next step is to slide the seat's all leather back cover on. Now if you're connecting multiple chairs together in a row and don't just have single chairs, I found it important to put this back piece on first because that will give the proper spacing between the seats and not allow you to push the seats too close together with the connecting brackets. And to attach multiple chairs together, after adding that back cover, you'll swing out the alligator clips on one side of the chairs and line it up with the bracket on the other chair. Once they're lined up, you just slide them together until they clip in. Now, if you need to remove the seats from the row, that's pretty simple as well. I found the easiest way to do it is to get on one end of the seating and take that last chair 
tilt it forward and then tilt it backward and those alligator clips should disconnect and you can pull that one seat away and then just continue doing that down the line. So let's get into what make these the ultimate luxury seat for your home theater. And let me just start off by saying this. You don't need these seats. They're extravagant, they're luxurious, they're over the top. These seats are like driving down the road in your perfectly capable 2006 Toyota Camry and looking over at the stoplight and the guy in his Lamborghini Aventador going, man, I'd hate to see what sort of miles per gallon that idiot gets. And while a valid point, he still looks damn good at the gas station filling up. But seriously, I've been extremely happy with the standard Tuscany XL seats that I've had the past few years. The leather is soft, the function is nearly identical to the Ultimate Luxury Edition, and the overall comfort has been awesome. In fact, I'll leave some links down below in the description of my review of the Tuscany XL as well as the Oslo XL and which one of those I think is more comfortable. Now with the Ultimate Luxury Edition seats, Valencia did throw in some extremely high end materials as well as a few other upgrades to give movie watchers one of the most comfortable seating options on the market. But this does come at a cost. The standard Tuscany XL seats are roughly $1,300 per chair while the Ultimate Luxury XL seats come in at $1,800 each at the time of this video. So let's take a look at what that extra $500 is buying you. Now the biggest difference is the leather material that they use for the seats. The standard edition has 11,000 top grain Napa leather, while the ultimate luxury seats have semi-aniline 20,000 grain Napa leather. The standard version only has leather on the surfaces that contact your skin, while the ultimate luxury seats are completely covered with 20,000 grain leather with no vinyl match material. Now I gotta say, this leather is some of the smoothest and softest leather that I've ever had in any furniture or any vehicle. Uh, for that matter, it's extremely nice and probably the biggest noticeable upgrade between the two lines. This leather is seriously as smooth as a baby's bottom. I actually have quite a bit of experience in both. Um, I'll go ahead and show you here the difference between the two. Sticking with the leather, the stitching design differs as well. The Luxury Edition has a French diamond pattern, which is a dual stitch throughout the seating area. The standard seats have a similar diamond pattern design, but with only a single stitch. The added perforations in the leather do seem to make the seats a bit cooler with longer seating sessions as well. Now the next biggest change, in my opinion, is the controls for the seats. Now the three functions are the same. You still have the recline, the lumbar support, and the headrest support but you also have a memory function that's thrown in there as well. This will allow you to set a specific position for the seat that it will adjust to with a single press of a button. To set this, you'll just adjust the seat to your favorite recline position, hold in the I button for two seconds until it beeps and it's set. Once set, a quick press of the I button will get you to that memory position. The home button has changed to the H button on the controls, which allows you to hold it down to return the seat and headrest to its upright position. Another big change for these controls is the lack of a backlight. And while that may seem like a pitfall for the controls, it's actually one of the biggest complaints that people have had on the forums, especially in rooms that have projectors as their video source. Any little light that you have coming off of your chairs, your equipment, outside light, that's going to affect the picture uh, and the brightness level in your room and ultimately affect your picture when you have a projected image. So Valencia has gotten rid of the backlight and it's really not hard to find these buttons in the dark. They're all in a line and they use toggle switches. So I don't really find that a major issue. And Valencia is always continuing to strive to make things better and these seats better for their customers. So I would not be surprised if this upgrade made its way to the standard seats sometime in the future. The LED lighting gets an upgrade as well from the standard blue color to seven color RGB lighting around the cup holder and under the front of the seats. Having the extra color choices is definitely nice to fit whatever theme you have going on in your room. You can either set it to show one color or have it rotate through all seven colors. To turn the lights on or off, double press the H button on the control panel. To change colors, it's a quick single press of the H button. I personally like red to use in my room until it's movie time, but let me know which color you prefer in your room down in the comments below. Moving on to the large storage pockets on each side of the Ultimate Luxury Edition seats. These are lined with Persian velour. And this is some super soft fabric and it's kind of crazy that they use it to line the storage area of the seats. But as I've talked about in the past, these storage compartments are huge, allowing storage for tray tables, a full-size laptop, or whatever else you'll think you'll need while enjoying your favorite shows. They're even big enough to hold this video sponsor, Rui Pro HDMI cables. 
Now, if you spent thousands of doll hairs on the latest 8K TV, the newest gen gaming console, and a killer surround system, you need an HDMI cable that's gonna make all those arguments with the wife worth the cost, and that will let that system shine to its fullest. Rui Pro's fiber optic HDMI 2.1 cables have been independently tested and confirmed to support up to 8K 60 Hertz and 4K 120 Hertz signals. So whether you're gaming with the bros or watching the next ruined reboot of an old classic, you can rest easy knowing that at least your HDMI cable won't let you down. These cables come in sizes from three foot all the way up to 100 foot without being too damaging on your wallet. And if you like, subscribe, and comment down below, you'll be in the runnings for a chance to win a 33 foot HDMI 2.1 cable from Rui Pro worth $160. I'll be randomly picking a comment seven days after this video goes live, so go down there and let me know what system you'll be putting this cable in if you win. And if you're interested in picking up a fiber optic HDMI cable from Rui Pro. I'll be leaving a link down to their Amazon page in the description below. Right now they have an 11% off coupon going on. So if you need one, head down there and save yourself some money. Thank you to Rui Pro for sponsoring this video. Now back to the Valencia seats. Some of the other notable but less obvious upgrades include a back finishing plate instead of a fabric flap to finish off the back of the chairs, a slightly larger metal cup holder in a black chrome finish instead of plastic cup holders, and a USB type A and C port on the control panel instead of just the USB type A. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Valencia continues to strive to have the best theater seats on the market. So they are constantly listening to customer feedback and making little tweaks to their design to make it more comfortable for the customer. Now, outside of the upgrades and changes mentioned above, I can say that these current seats are more comfortable than the Tuscany XL seats that I received two years ago. And that doesn't really have anything to do with the materials. It's more looking at the cushion firmness. It's a little bit more firm, um, which helps with longer seating sessions. And the more noticeable difference is the lumbar support that a lot of people had issues with in the past. Um, one of the larger complaints, like I said, was the lumbar support. They felt that at the lowest setting, it was still too firm. Um, I can say in these seats that has been addressed. They've either added some padding or moved that mechanism back or, or changed it all together. Um, but it is a little more comfortable in the lumbar area and I've spoken with the owner of Valencia and um, just about the design of the seats and he assured me that this is not just the ultimate luxury edition seats that feel like this. They change the entire line whenever they are um, making changes like that and really it's just the materials on these ultimate luxury seats that have changed. So. Even if you were to get the standard Tuscany XLs or even the standard Tuscany seats, those changes are going to be in effect for those as well. Now, if you are looking to purchase these seats, there are some accessories that you can add on to get with these. Um, and a couple of these I really like. First one, I don't use too often, but if you are a wine drinker and want to have a wine glass holder, these little cup caddies are nice to have or, or glass caddies. The next is a tablet or phone holder. This will Rotate either way to let you hold your phone or your tablet if you use one of these to control your entire system. Nice to have something to hold on to that. And probably the one I use the most is the tray tables. Um, you can set food on here if you like eating while watching a movie or laptop. I sit here and, and work on my laptop quite a bit. So this is nice to have just to be able to set some things on, remotes on while you're watching. So couple different accessories. And the last accessory is a divider that you can put in between in a love seat or on a couch setting. And this is really great for if uh, the person you're sitting next to is being a little fussy, maybe you just need that extra space, maybe you need an extra cup holder for your sippy cup uh, or a little extra storage for toys. Um, maybe you just don't wanna sit next to that person because they have a dirty diaper. So. This is a great solution to be able to give you a little bit extra separation between the two of you. So just a quick side note before wrapping up here, we recently went to a furniture store to look for furniture for our uh, home that we're buying. And it was a big box store, had a lot of brands, a lot of seating options. And I strolled by the home theater seating section, sat in about eight or 10 options that they had, looked at quite a few of them. And first off, these truly are XL seats. If you're needing extra space, that extra room, these are big seats, uh, much bigger compared to uh, the standard seating that Tuscany offer or Valencia offers or a lot of those seats at the big box store. And I didn't really go over the sizing or how big these were in this video. I went over that quite a bit, pretty thoroughly in my last video comparing the Tuscany XL and Oslo XL. So if you're looking for that, I'll leave that down below in the link. 
or in the description down below, but you are getting a premium product with these seats and you're also paying a premium price for them. I mean, they're not super cheap, whether you're looking at the regular Tuscany XL seats or the Ultimate Luxury Edition seats, they are a premium price for a premium product. Um, looking at the fit and finish of these other seats at the store, uh, a lot of them, either whether they had leather or not, a lot of them were vinyl, but the leather didn't feel quite as nice. The, the stitching, there wasn't that attention to detail on some of them, um, like these seats. The options like the dual backlit cup holders, the lights under the front, um, things like the, um, the armrests here have gas shocks in them that lower and close nice and smooth versus they had like spring-loaded hinges on a lot of those at the store that felt wobbly first off, but uh, would just snap shut and just attention to detail like that where you're feeling like you're paying for a premium product, you should be getting that. And I feel like that's what Valencia has done. They've looked at the competition, they've said, we want to offer something that's going to be a premium product that you're going to love having in your home theater, and they've delivered that. Now, I'm not really talking about comfort because that's very subjective. You know, these seats may not be comfortable for you like another seat at, at another store. So uh, I'm not really talking about that. I'm more talking about the materials and the look and fit and finish of everything. But um, I encourage you to go out and look at some of these seating options at these other stores and just look at the options and finishes that they have for the price and then compare them to Valencia and make up your own decision. But I personally feel that Valencia has a great product for the price point that they're at. I'll be leaving some links down in the description below for both these and some other seating options from Valencia. I really hope this video helped you guys out in deciding whether the Ultimate Luxury Edition was something that was worth the extra cost for you for your home theater. Thank you to Valencia for sending these seats out for review. Um, be sure to comment down below for your chance to win that 33-foot HDMI cable from Rui Pro. Appreciate you guys watching Life of Bliss, and I will see you soon. All right, say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>